Okay, now let's see what happens um, for us to be able to reflect things about the y-axis. So again, we have our definition here that says y equals f of negative x reflects the graph about the y-axis. Okay, this one is a little bit um, more interesting to deal with, so let's start off by looking at a picture of um, f of x equals the square root of x. This is our base function, our square root function, that again goes like this. Um, now I got these points again by just plugging in x values into the equation. If I use an x value of 0, the square root of that is 0. If I use an x value of 4, the square root of that is 2, and so on and so forth. I just chose uh, 1, 4, and 9 because those were um, nice square numbers. Okay, now, according to our definition up here, it said we're talking about making the x value itself negative. So to show a reflection about y, I would need to graph now the square root of negative x. Okay, now here's where the tricky part comes in. If I were to use, let's say, an x value of 1, well, if I put a 1 in here in place of x, that would be the saying the square root of negative 1. We can't do that. That's an imaginary number, right? It's not on our real number system, our, our plane here. So an x value of 1 will not work. What if we went over to the other side of the y's? What if we used a negative 1? then we would be saying that the square root of negative x, which in this case would be negative 1. So negative negative 1 would be 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. Um, what if I used a negative 4? That would be saying the square root of negative x value, which is negative 4. So negative negative 4 would be a positive 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. Oops, that's not very pretty. So can you see that we're now taking these points and we're flipping them about the y-axis because of what we could use in here as part of our domain. Um, if I were to put in a 9, the square root of negative x, if I use a negative 9 this time, that's the same thing as saying the square root of 9, which is 3. So now we have this graph that looks something like this. And we can see that it has been, it's taken that original f of x and by making the x value negative we have flipped it across the y-axis. This is a reflection about y.